Yo, what's up guys? My name is Moonboy and today we're making some drum and bass. Drum and bass has to be one of the most energetic EDM genres there is. And what's really, really sick about it is it has like so many subgenres, subcategories that's under it. So there's like a million routes you can take. There's heavy drum and bass, which is like... Then there's the vibey liquid DMB. Then there's jump up, which is like bass house on steroids, dude. And what's also popping off is like the ravey DMB. People often make remixes of songs and make it very ravey and like sick. I feel like I'm living in a rave. This is why I truly love drum and bass, is it's like an entirely new world of EDM. So today we're gonna be making a heavy, head exploding, energetic drum and bass style. Step one to making a drum and bass banger is the drums. Drum and bass is usually around 160 to 180 BPM. We're gonna do 170 right now. This is the main pattern of all drum and bass songs. It's like boop ba, boop ba. The kick pattern is as so. The snare gets played on every off beat. Pretty simple. I'm using drum samples from my new pack, Havoc Production Suites. Here's some examples of the many different routes you can go with the drums. We have the jump up style. We have the liquid DMB style, which is more tight and rhythmic. We have the heavy style, which is just like in your face. That one would just like freaking destroy the dance floor. Then we have like a break style, which is like kind of like drums, just like beating the floor. The style that we're gonna do is gonna be like a very tonal, like massive big pan snare. Now for the hats, we're gonna have two different layers. We're gonna have like a break beat background, kind of just to give it, give it a little bit of jungle movement, you know? And then a simple open hat. Now, I love to put a really, really tight hi-hat with every beat because it just makes the kick drum and snare sound so damn snappy. And together. Perfecto. Step number two, the vibe. We're gonna draw inspirations from one of like my favorite OG artist, uh, Prodigy. So we're gonna start with the melody and the melody is gonna be like, you know, like an Invaders Must Die style or something. So from a basic saw wave, something like that, like a repeating melody, you know? So to make this retro and like ravey, let's put um, three voices and detune it. Already, it's pretty dope. I wanna do like an old school trick uh, that I learned from like back in like Scary Monsters Nice Sprites days. The main lead has this like, crazy fast vibrato. So we're gonna use LFO2 to automate the global master tune. Then we're gonna put the rates to like 64. You see how the fast pitch LFO gives it this like grit? Now I'm using one of the presets in my Havoc production suite and the result is so beautiful. And to give it this extra like twang, almost a fast delay on 164. Now to finish this eight bar synth loop, we're gonna add a Reese. So dirty. One of the main things I love about drum and bass is the Reese's. So there's a really, really easy way to making Reese's. So with two saw waves, we bring the octaves down put some fine in it. And already you're getting this phasey weirdness. Next is just gonna be a combination of EQ filters and stuff like that. Put an automation on a notch and a peak, add some low pass. Phaser and then a compressor to bring it all together. 
put the phaser, filter, distortion, all these techniques together and it'll sound like so dirty. Many presets like this is gonna be included in my Havoc production suite as well. So many different types of resets. Step number three, the FX. For the riser, we're gonna have a combination of things just to create this energy, you know? We're gonna have a classic filtered sub riser, one note pitch bend up, Next, we're gonna have the same MIDI riser note, but we're gonna put it on a neuro bass. I swear, these kind of neuro bass risers create the most energy. I like doing the same thing with my snares as well for the riser. I'll put a pitch bend up. It just creates so much tension, you know? We're trying to create the most tension as possible. We're gonna add a siren for the riser as well. I made a really, really sick Ableton rack to make risers from scratch using operator's white noise and a filter that goes up. Like a high pass. Bunch of combination of things like chorus and auto pan, you know. Now I did something really, really cool. I like to add it in risers. You grab like a frequency shifter, I put it on the whole group of drums and even sometimes like the whole group of basses as well. Automate the amount of like the LFO. Step number four, the main bass. This is the bass that's gonna get the crowd going crazy and literally like rumble the floor. So we really have to make this heavy as possible. So for the first bass, we're gonna create something stompy. So we're gonna start with a saw wave. The technique to make a really nice wompy sound is having like a saw wave or a square wave and adding in a harmonic like sine or triangle and distorting them together. So we have a saw wave. Put automation. Now we grab a triangle and we make it harmonic. There's a few ways to make a harmonic note and it's usually four and seven semitones like above. So that's the harmonic layer now. It's kind of like a chord, you know? And then you put distortion on top of both of it. Now here's the trick. Bring up the octave of the harmonic layer two octaves and then play a lower note already sounding crazy. Add an extra plain sub layer. Automate that bad boy in. Now we can make it more clean without the gritty top layer by taking the oscillator A out and just having a sine wave and a triangle. Now this is the main technique and at this point you would add certain different characteristics like noise and chorus or whatever different kind of things to like change it up sound slightly. Here's what I did with one of the presets in my new pack. Man, that's so stompy. Let's hear this in action. Dude, it just literally like punches through the speakers, man. Now for that empty part in this bass, we're gonna add something sick, something gnarly, something really iconic in the drum and bass scene. And that is the chair bass. <laughs> So gnarly, this bass will also be in uh, my newest pack. Bass number three, we're gonna go for some like voodoo darkness. This is gonna be something like the Raga Skrillex vibe. Oof, so dirty. And here it is. This bass is really sick. It's basically uh, a square wave with a really, really high resonant peak low pass. So, so dope. I love this bass a lot. Jesus, dude, that energy is crazy. If that wasn't enough, I got one more bass for you guys. The rolling bass. Now this bass is a detuned saw wave with an LFO on the filter to make it roll. And then I added a second oscillator that's like harmonic to give it that grit. So dope. There's also hyperdimension to give it some width, chorus, Compressor for that OTT action, baby. You know how it is. And then um, I put an EQ cutting off the lows because I have a sine wave to have a consistent low end. More of a triangle, actually. But together, 
Now we're gonna add that ravey synth that we made in the beginning, that vibe synth. And also that crazy Reese we made. And so all together, Now all together with the drums. Oh. Oh, allergies. Really sick. Now, before we go to the final result, I want to share with you guys an exciting announcement. I have created the biggest pack I've ever done, and it's more than a pack now, it's a production suite. It's called Havoc. Not only does it have drums, effects, loops, everything you need to make a song from scratch, it also comes with five really, really dope bonuses. Number one, it comes with Hazard, which is a serum preset pack with over a hundred bases, leads, and FX that are so complex and unique and just really, really straight out the box, like just so dope. If you love drum and bass, it has everything you need to make like literally any style. What's also super dope is if you use these sounds and presets for other genres, you'll have like a unique style that nobody has because whenever someone's making bass house, they're using bass house sounds or when they're making dubstep, they're using dubstep sounds. But what if you use these like drum and bass, like heavy gritty stuff, you have a really, really cool unique sound. Here's like a little preview of some I made. Number two, it has Euphoria vocals. Now this is great for creating melodic stuff, liquid DMV, all kinds of like vocal one shots, but even like full acapellas, verses, really, really dope stuff. Here's like a little preview of something I made. Then there's hype dance vocals, which is like original vocals you can use to uses the pre-drop before your drop or like inside the drop as like hype vocals, you know? There's damage, which is Ableton FX racks, which is literally like everything you need to make a song very well. It has master racks, it has bass processing racks, vocal processing racks, lead racks, crazy FX racks, you know? It's just really, really dope. And number five, it also includes this entire project file, which is my latest song, Havoc, which is unreleased by the way, but you guys get the whole project file. You can see how I mastered it, sound design, put it together, everything, you can play around with it, remix it, whatever. It's really, really great for beginners and learning as well because you can see how a song is put together. It comes out April 6th and after 300 licenses are sold, it won't be available again and those 300 people that have it will have an exclusive library of stuff that only they have, like a secret sauce, you know? All right, onto the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and learned something and hit that subscribe button as well because I make so many tutorial videos of all kinds of styles. You really don't want to miss out on all this new stuff, but comment what you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.